We got us a ginger. We'll be right back with Parker Phelps. Excited to have our, I think our very first redhead ever on the show, and um, he's a. Rachel. Rachel. Um, we got Rachel. We got. We have a We had a red. We did it. In fact, it's red from a bottle. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, please welcome Parker Phelps. <laughs> Parker, yeah. how's it going, man? Good. Welcome to the show. Thank you. This is the audience. They love you already, I can tell. Ooh. Why would they not? Why would they not? <laughs> what an arrogant guy. Yep. All right, well, let me... Um, no, I'm glad to have you here. I introduced you as the first ginger. You're not. I lied. We had ginger on here before. You're not special. Uh, um, but you should be lying in church. It was a girl. It was a girl. So does that count? I don't know. You decide. <laughs> I'm not going to. Tell me about... Uh, it's, uh, Tell me about the ghost that's falling right now. Tell me about Kimmy Hinton. Well... <laughs> oh! Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Ooh, right there! That smile. Okay, what does that mean? Why are you smiling when I mention her name? What is she to you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get right down to it, huh? Yeah, right down to it. Um, this is Oprah, buddy. We're here. <laughs> well, she's my friend, and I asked her to prom. Ooh! Yes, so. No reaction from you guys? Was it a prom proposal? It was, was it a ridiculous prom proposal? Yeah, we'll post the yeah. Show me the picture, and we'll post it on the thing. Um, so how did you do it? Well, I drove to her house in my car. Step one. Yeah. And I drove to her house. I made a sign before I drove to her house. Okay. <laughs> and so that's actually step one. Yeah. Here was my sign. This question has a Yeezy answer. Kanye be my date to prom. Uh, so, <laughs> that's clever. Thank you. Do you all both like Kanye, or is it just a play on words? It is just a play on words. Just a play on words, okay? I do like Kanye, though. That's overkill, really. Uh, we have a couple more questions for you. Um, we had another audience member ask a question that I needed to pass along, and that is, do you believe in llamas? <laughs> Can you be any more specific? Um, well, they want to know if you, if within your worldview and belief system, there is a room within that for the useless animal water. I mean, llamas are a sacred animal. Let's not go that far. <laughs> they spit, so. You think they're sacred? Oh, yeah. How so? Llamas. You love llamas? Because they spit. <laughs> Why would you not like an animal that can spit like 20 feet? <laughs> it just launches it out of its mouth. You're selling me on this long. Yeah, I, know. Yeah, I, know. I really can't afford to hate any more animals because I hate gorillas so much. Harambe? Listen, not enough you gorillas die. You can burn in a <laughs> hole. <laughs> Parker, you're not a Harambe guy, are you? I love Harambe. <laughs> I'm going to say it again clearly. Not enough gorillas died in the Harambe interview. <laughs> this is my conspiracy theory. Obama did Harambe. All right, write it down. It's real. <laughs> well, now we can't air this. <laughs> the government will shut us down. Everybody knows it was Obama. Did everybody see the, did see the meme where the, the, uh, the gorilla walks over, Harambe goes over to the kid and it says, listen, I have information on Diet Hillary Clinton. <laughs> 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 Okay, what's your uh, what's your favorite chicken? Bojangles or KFC? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I actually went to Bojangles the other day. It was okay. It was okay. It was okay. Yeah. You cheated on Chick Fil A? I did. But the thing was, it like reminded me of something I'd get at Thanksgiving, except it wasn't near as good. So it kind of disappointed me. Yeah. I went there and had a salad. Are you stupid? <laughs> huge mistake. <laughs> huge mistake. Yeah. Huge. I could have told you that before. Huge you mistake. <laughs> that was. That was, that was my Trump. Yeah, yeah. Huge mistake. Yeah, Trump Never go there orange. again. Loser salad. <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah, turn the orange or food. Yeah, little, yeah. Go, go into carrot mode. Yeah. All right. If you had, uh, if you, if you had to die today. Okay. Uh, by the way, this is a closing question. So we always end with death. Let's be honest. Life isn't happy. It's true. Um, if you had to die today, would you choose to jump out of a plane or off a cliff? 
how high up is the plane? And how far down is the cliff? That was so good. Well, the plane's 30,000 feet, and the cliff is uh, Everest. <laughs> Everest is like twenty five thousand. I really don't know. I have no idea. I jump out. I jump out the higher one because I would want to make sure that I died. I would like. That's smart. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to feel. Why well, risk that? Yeah, and exactly. then be paralyzed the rest of your life. Exactly. Yeah. Take the plane, folks. That's what we learned <laughs> with Parker. The plane. The plane. <laughs> um, is there anything you want to say to your uh, friends and family, or maybe you know your your uh, your bro right there? Who? Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's wanted... also friends, by the way, with Peyton Carter. You would say you're friends, right? Acquaintances. Acquaintances. And uh, they've ran into each other in Kroger's, basically what he's saying. <laughs> and then Peyton invited him to be on the show. <laughs> That's how it works here at the Open Lobby. All right, thanks, Parker, for coming by. Everybody give him a hand. If you like this video and you want to see me fight Parker at a later time, then like, comment, subscribe or share, subscribe or share, click his face for more of these videos. That's all, folks.